Am I recording? Yes, I am recording. Hey everyone, Lisa Torres here from lisatorresspeaks.com. And um, the question of the day is, is it okay to get caught up in shiny ball syndrome? What is this on my chair? Is it okay to get caught up in shiny ball syndrome? And the answer is very simple. <laughs> you know, I keep my answers always simple. I'm always saying the answer is very simple because it, you know, <clears throat> most people make it so complicated and it really doesn't have to be. Here's the simple answer. Yes, it is okay. And why, why do I say it's okay? Because there's so many flies over here. Um, why do I say it's okay to get caught up in shiny ball syndrome? Because you have to find, you have to test different things to find out what works for you. Okay, there have been several times, even including myself, um, many of the top earners that I know have all, you know, been through, gone through different companies. They signed up for different companies and then realized that, you know, it really wasn't for them, right? And sometimes you have to go through two, three, sometimes even 10 companies to figure out which one um, works best for you, which one you can see yourself in alignment with, right? Oh gosh, these flies are like crazy out here. What's going on? Because <laughs> it's really hot out here, maybe, I don't know. Um, but <clears throat> um, some, especially when you're new, you need to test the waters. You need to, you know, invest in different things and test different things and do different things to see what works best for you. And when you find that balance, something that you love to do, something that you're passionate about, and you know in your heart of hearts that this is what you want to do and this is what, what you want to run with, then that is what you're going to be successful at. Because the worst thing that you could do is, whew, the worst thing that you can do, I think that the flies want to be in the video with me. The worst thing that you can do is um, be in a company that you're not happy with, be with a team that you're not happy with, be in an environment that really doesn't sit well with you, okay? So my suggestion to you is, you know, if you are having shiny ball syndrome right now, understand that that's just a temporary situation that you're going through right now and that it's okay and you're supposed to be there, okay? Um, so if you need to test out the waters with different things until you find something that sits well with you, because remember, um, you know, this is, this is a long-term uh, journey, right? So you have to figure out what, what works for you, what you're happy with, right? And don't be ashamed of that. Don't be afraid of that. Now, but here's the difference though, and, and this is really, really big. And this is one of the reasons why I do not ever promote my network marketing company outright, like so many people do in this industry. And it is because um, people are going to see that you have shiny ball syndrome and that you have been jumping around from company to company to company and that you're unstable and therefore they're not going to want to join with you. They're not going to want to lock arms with you and position themselves with you because they see that, okay, this week, you know, you're promoting this and then this, you know, next week you're promoting that and then the following week you're promoting this and you just look in the eyes of your prospects, you look unstable. And that's not what, what people like, right? And that is why I am always preaching, don't promote your business opportunity, don't, don't promote your you know, products and services outright. That is why I always preach brand yourself. Because when you brand yourself, you can build whatever you want. You can have all the shiny ball syndromes you want on the back end. If you're, if you're, you know, leading with you, the value that you bring to the table, kind of like what I'm doing in this video, right? I'm not shooting this video talking about one of my network marketing companies that I'm with, right? I'm not talking about that. I'm sharing value with you, right? And, you know, maybe you'll, you'll get on my list and you'll start getting my emails and you'll start following me and you start liking my stuff. And, you know, eventually you will do business with me. Potentially. I don't know right so this is this is this is why i always preach that so don't worry about having the shiny ball syndromes what you have to worry about is not promoting every single thing that you are doing in the public promote it on the back end right lead with you because you know when you do that people will have more respect for you and you'll <clears throat> you'll start building your team faster than you can ever imagine um just like i did or just like i do 
<laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go back in the house. I don't know where Rusty went. He's over there minding his business. So I'm going to go back in the house because it's super hot out here and these flies are getting on my last nerve. So if you enjoyed this video, like it, comment, share it. And as always, if you have any questions about generating leads and building your business online, just um, shoot me a message on Facebook at AskLisaTorres.com and I'll chat with you over there. Have a great, great day. If you enjoyed this video by Lisa Torres, you're going to love her free nine minute video on how to generate 10 plus leads a day and sponsor two to five new members per week. Be sure to get instant access now at lisatorresspeaks.com where you'll also find more marketing mindset, prospecting and recruiting tips on how to take your network marketing business to the next level.